Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, today we're doing an unboxing on SpongeBob the Cosmic Shake BFF edition. So, uh, the main reason I wanted to get this is as you can see on the side, it comes with the giant inflatable Patrick as well as uh, Amulet, which is a shame because in the show it was a ring. You can see the little BFF, but we'll get into it once we get into the box. Four bouncy balls and some art cards, but obviously the main purpose of this was literally just to get the inflatable Patrick. Um, just want to see my son mess around with it. Currently it is down on sale because THQ is the uh, guys that make these games. Um, but they ridiculously overpriced their collector's edition. The previous Spongebob game was like 215 quid and it came with three statues. Uh, there was another one that was like it. But the, the same guys that obviously did the Darksider series. Um, but the, the cost of their collectors are just next to nothing. Like, and what comes with them? Very limited. Um, but yeah. And then the other thing that also comes with this is you get a statue. And then throughout the game, you've also got Patrick following you around as kind of an inflatable balloon. So, yeah, a bit of a random one. Uh, so let me just get the cellophane off this. Right, so now that we've got the outer cover off and the plastic, you can see that the art design actually covers over to add even more characters from the franchise onto the back of the box. And then you've even got Pearl and Mrs. Puff on the side. And, yeah, so... Overall, quite cool. Um, but yeah, we're going to crack into the box. So immediately, we're presented with the Certificate of Authenticity. As you can see, this is number 969. Oh, sorry, 960. I've butchered that three times. 9,679 of 11,000. So, yeah, it's just a car. There isn't much to that. Um, so, the code will be used prior, but... That adds a costume DLC pack for all of the different Spongebobbers across the episodes. And of course you've got the game. So, quite nice. Uh, it also presented with four Spongebobs in Bounceables across different universes that they play. And the amulet. So, quite nice. It also comes with four placemats as was shown before. So, I've now got the set set up outside of. These placemats are actually pretty decent. They're quite thick as well. I thought they would just be some like flimsy cardboard. They're actually, they've got like pressure points and everything on them. They're, they're pretty impressive. So like I said, you've got the four different arts from, from different timelines. And you've got majestic SpongeBob there. Obviously Patrick, that is at the moment flattened, but he will be inflated. And then most importantly, you've got the BFF bracelet. Isn't it so cute? Well, they call it an amulet, but yeah, like I said, originally in the show it was a ring. So I don't know why they didn't follow suit and keep it a ring. So you pop that open, and then you've got obviously the art cover. And then you've got the best friends forever. Best friends forever! SpongeBob and Patrick. Um, but yeah, still quite cute. But pr pretty big. And then obviously, like I say, it even comes with a little plastic sand for you to put the SpongeBob balls on so you can get them properly displayed. And then this big boy. So, I will get the statue out of the box, but I thought I'd show you it in the box before I took it apart. Right, so there we finally have it. He is out and set up outside. So that is, um, what do you call it, Spongebob singing Sweet Sweet Victory. So, absolutely amazing as far as the size goes. It is huge, I will give it that. Like I said, Sponge, uh, Patrick with his balloon. Um, I guess that's something to go with it. And then, yeah. Like I said, overall, you've got a weird blob monster. Now, one special thing I thought I'd show off is the very creepy art style that they did with the Spongebobs on the inside of the box. There's some really disturbing Spongebobs. So I thought I'd show off some of the art that was hidden. Obviously, this piece of cardboard was in the box with the statue. But yeah, obviously, there are some classic designs and then some really creepy ones. So... Yeah, kind of weird, kind of off. I've just noticed that it's upside down. So, but yeah. Overall, like I say, the collector's edition does come with quite a lot, but considering the price that it started at, I don't know whether I'd, I'd justify saying that like 215 quid would have been a price that I'd been happy to pay. It is, yeah, an extortionate amount. I'm quite glad that I picked it up from game.co.uk 
and yeah, at the moment it's down to sixty-seven pound. Uh, for that price, I'd say that it is more or less worth it. Being the price of games these days, that you're spending what forty, forty, fifty quid on the game alone. So, yeah, seventeen pound seems like a worthwhile price for the extra bits. And then, yeah. So the, the final thing to do is obviously blow up Patrick. So we're going to do that real quick, and then you can get an idea of how big he is. But uh, the main reason is him was this the reason I went to the set just to mess around with the sun because I know he's going to absolutely go nuts bounce it around like it's a balloon technically it is I guess right so that is Patrick all blown up so like I said you get a blo inflatable Patrick which is great the statue which is quite detailed I'll give it that I mean it's spongeable so I don't know how much detail he can really put to it but yeah four placemats the BFF amulet, as well as the four bouncy balls. So, in total, it's it's quite a decent collection for the amount that you get. I will give credit to the the quality of the stuff is nice, but yeah, I, I'd probably say that you've got to be a super SpongeBob fanatic to really appreciate the level of attention that they've gone to in this set. Supposedly, upon the game, you will play adhere to two hundred and ten different soundtracks and little audio bites that have been throughout the whole Spongebob. Essentially from what I've gathered from the information I've learned about the game is that it is the multiverse of madness but for Spongebob. He gets swirled into all different timelines and tons of different throwbacks to the classic cartoon. So I will definitely say that yeah the collection is for the f true fanatic but yeah for myself I'm not disappointed at the price I paid but I would have been if I'd paid that much um for what you get in the set but uh, that is one conversation piece i would say down in the comments let me know do you think video game collector's editions are being outpriced i i personally do feel that they are going a bit too much for what you get in the sets these days um back in the day it used to be a much more reasonable price but what you got was quality that lasted uh whereas these days you do get a lot more cosmetic and a lot less physical merchandise so, overall, yeah, let me down, know down. As well as uh, your favourite Spongebob episode as well. Because I'm a goofy goober. I have watched a hell of a lot of Spongebob. So, there is probably a lot of episodes that I do recall. Uh, it's probably one of the things that I am going to love about playing through the game. To be reminded of classics that I've probably long forgotten about. Moments throughout the history of Spongebob. Uh, even there, there is the Flying Dutchman. So... It's just like, yeah, even moments like that that are just hilarious. Anyways, uh, keep uh, me posted as far as the uh, channel goes. I will keep trying to update it on a more regular basis. Um, but yeah, if you haven't already and you stayed this long, please like, comment and subscribe down below. Um, does help out. Does keep me interested. Does keep me motivated to keep putting out the content for everyone. And uh, yeah. Yeah.